Okay, good stuff. Now, in the meantime, let's join Aaron in his loo. Okay, not really. We're not really in the bathroom, are we, Aaron? <laughs> No, we're not. You're currently in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you did do a beautiful powder room reno, though, and we want to get the scoop on this. Starting out with why did you decide to reno your gorgeous powder room? Listen, after 11 years, the, the cracks were starting to show in a sense, wear and tear. We had a slight plumbing issue, and we actually used that as an excuse to kind of switch out everything. Really, lose you kind of want them to feel a little bit smaller. Generally, you don't want to really feel like you're sitting on a throne in the middle of a field. <laughs> so <laughs> they do need to feel cozy in a sense, but they can still feel bright for sure. Okay, tell me about some of the challenges uh, to renoing the powder room. Sure, initially when we first did the renovation, it was actually very hard to find small scale, uh, contemporary looking toilets. So this time around, I was super excited to find the Cola Reach Curve. It's great clean lines, so sleek looking, and it was really the, the, the jumping off point for almost for the rest of the look in the pieces that we brought into the room. Um, the other great piece is that sink. Again, it feels very fresh and contemporary, and that was actually a Wayfair find, something that looks a little bit blocky and more sculptural. Now, the faucet is actually the old faucet. We decided to reuse it, and then we decided, because we went for a charcoal grout, to actually bring some black accessories in too, but it really is all about the detail. So one of the interesting things we did was we add a Canadian, added a Canadian-made area vent on the floor because you see that air vent you don't want a traditional one in there so we actually went with something that's a lot more contemporary and it's such a great clean lined look that you actually inset the flooring directly into it so it almost becomes invisible Ooh, i like that now when it comes to tiles there are so many to choose from so you're going to show us three looks you curated which is helpful because it can be very overwhelming when you look at the selection out there so contemporary was the look that we went with. So we really wanted to do that light and bright look that we spoke about, but we wanted to freshen it up. So what is fresher than a classic subway tile? How about an elongated hex subway tile instead? Mm. Much more contemporary looking and it looks great with that dark grout on it too. The floor is terrazzo. Terrazzo, very, very on trend, but has been a long time love of mine. And actually, it actually picks up on the terrazzo look that we have in our kitchen counters. The next look is glamour, and we're talking high tone, black and white Hollywood glamour here. This is all about marble and making things special. The fish scale looking tiles here have a 3D effect to them. They're actually arched and they have brass insets in there too. So whether you go for on the wall, either the black or the white marble, Think about doing the flip for the floor. So these great large scale tiles are a fantastic option. They have a, almost a honed finish to them. And a large scale tile is great for a smaller space because you don't need quite so many. There are less grout lines too. That final look really is bohemian. So boho, listen, we've seen lots of those great kind of concrete style patterns in kitchens showing up, but why not think about your powder room too? So when we lived in Portugal, literally every surface that we saw on a daily basis was tiled in one way or another. So I love these tiles. And the fun thing about this is the mix has already been done for you. So you basically set these up and then for the floor, there's actually a coordinating tile, which has expanses of kind of clean, simple, uh, finish as well as pattern too. So it's really a fantastic combination for sure. Ooh, I'm not usually a boho girl, but I like that last set. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Aaron. Great ideas. Beautiful makeover on your powder room.